so welcome back if you have running your virtual wind tunnel uh, or at the part 3 so now you look at your progress you shall have a green check mark over here that indicate your running is finished but I believe some of you might uh, having some problem either your graphic card or memory that pop up a message like this and then you may obtain a report that doesn't show you the not not uh, no no value at all but may give you some picture uh, let's take a look at the result first so go to your folder and then you will see that you have your hypermesh nastran your virtual wind tunnel and your step file all here and that definitely is your inventor file so this is the folder that you con you have all your virtual wind tunnel simulation result so let's take a look at that we will definitely have a pdf file if you open the pdf file then you shall have all the data of your simulation yes that will be the result but of course by default you will find that oh there's no text or value that you can read over here just some of the uh, contour color but if you don't have a number or data that doesn't mean anything to you so we got to reopen that to read the data by using the Arcusoft console so if you would like to open the Microsoft console over here that that will be together in, in your virtual wind tunnel so you just go and check where actually you save the things for my one that will be over here my hyperwork okay so that will be uh, Microsoft console here so all you need to do is to open this program yes the Microsoft and then open a file from your virtual wind tunnel so I will get back to my folder which is on the desktop I have saved and then that will be so that is the folder contain all my simulation data and then you will see there is a file is SCS this one it is Microsoft file that we can open that using the Microsoft console so you try to open that and then you can see that seems like just a box but this is our virtual wind tunnel if you want to see your model just try to open your design tree here and then open your volume and your surface and virtual wind tunnel if you close them by clicking this eye close now you will see that the wind tunnel it is gone but your part it is there Okay, the color doesn't mean anything to us because this is just the color to indicate my model okay so and then we want the result how we're going to read the result then all we need to do is to click the fill view then click ok because the log file is created and you will have this aqua field view and i believe when you finish running your virtual wind tunnel you also uh, saw that icon and over here all we need to do is to check the boundary surface okay he is included everything but right now we say we deselect everything and then what we need to do is we have, we have to clear all 
So we have this. Then we create a new one. It's empty, but my surface is all imported over here. So I only need the part. So I click part and I click OK. And basically your part is here, but because of the background view, that doesn't show us very clear. So right now go to view, change the background color to become white. Now you see that. Okay. So this is how actually we can see the result. Okay, understand a little bit how to operate the field view. So we are pressing the alternate button. Then you press your left click, it is move. Scroll button, press the scroll button, rotate. And then your right click, that will be zoom. Okay. So then actually we can switch to the wood that we can see. But right now we are a little bit difficult because this is perspective view. So back here we off the perspective. Then we can rotate to what we can see it more easy. Okay, so now I would like to put this actually somewhere like this. And over here, if you want to view the result, first thing first, we will ch change it to become scalar. Now you see that. And then the display type, you have a few options. So just choose the one that you feel comfortable with. Okay. So over here, I will just make a smooth face dirt. That will be much more easy for me to read. And then the scalar function and the vector function. So we know what is scalar, what is vector, what you would like to see. So over here, let's say I choose pressure as my scalar function. And at the color map, you can also choose the color map that you enjoy to see but first we call out the label first you might saying that oh I didn't read anything so no problem on the scalar change it to become black close it and then here we change to become 10 first because we want a 10 number coming up Okay, so right now you need to press the shift button and then touch your mouse with the right click and then move that label a bit. Now the color come up. Okay, again pressing your shift button and then move your mouse to the color bar and then right click and move, then you will have this and then at the same time you, if you're pressing shift and then you use your left click to move the color bar then you will have that uh, move as well okay so if you want to have multiple or whatever and then you want to have co uh, contour you know, we are having spectrum no contour okay so then now in the report you didn't see the result but right now you see the result already okay so and then if you want to have more number you can key in uh, this is the color so the local calculation and then here that will be the surface now if let's say you want to change it not the pressure but you want the other let's say I would like to have the velocity then that will be something actually you can see as well so I'll move my and then I can just shift a little bit so I can have that okay so if you want to show the mesh then you can show the mesh without the mesh and then without the mesh and all these thing okay so that will be basically what you can uh, see over here if you want to make it to the y direction then you can just move it no problem at all 
and then right now you can use the other way to view the result so I'll make a very basic one which is we're using the coordination so when you click on the coordination that will be empty and you have to create one so after you have created one so be careful what are the coordination plan that you are having we want to see on the Y plan so that will be actually what we can see but we don't want geometry, we want scalar we don't want mesh, we want smooth so and then over here you can also call out your legend so now you basically have two uh, color bar you can go back to the boundary just now and off the boundary so now it will show you the coordination uh, result over here okay so that will be actually how you can get the data if your report on the PDF file doesn't pop up